Hello everybody, Cookie Doe here, and welcome to another Payday 2 DSOD video. Today we're going to be doing rats, so before we begin actually, I'm going to buy the Floodlights asset. So, let's begin. Now, I buy the uh, Floodlights asset mostly because it helps with visibility on the map. Because uh, outside, it's a little bit hard to see the enemies. Literally pitch black. So... This is a pretty basic guy, just, you know, camp up in the, um... Just camp up in the house, wait for Fade when going to the escape van. Bada bing, bada boom, heist done, and then next two days you can just speed through. Now, interesting thing with AI, so if you position them about here, they will delete anything that comes through that door. Anything. And it doesn't even have to be things that come through that door. The spawn point, you know, up on the hill beside it, they will just obliterate anything that even spawns there. Which is quite nice. It does, however, make it pretty hard to take converts on this map. This is a bit of a... If you have a good team, we can, like, you know, keep on pushing it back up against spawn points. Uh, you know, you can kind of move freely about, but, you know, AI, they can't, they can't really, they don't have much freedom of movement. So you kind of just get stuck in the house of AI. Yeah, you kind of. My strat is mostly just to use this side, or the AI use that side. Most enemy spawns will come on the AI side, so you basically just get the get the kind of stragglers who spawn on that side, but go through the other way. And yeah, my big gripe with this heist is visibility. Um, the enemies can shoot you while they're in the bushes up there. And it's just... Ugh. I mean, it's nothing like completely unplayable, it's just annoying. Why was there a flashbang here? There are new like I was kind of half expecting to die there because you know you know if there's flashbangs there's usually cops there. But they, no, they, there was just a flashbang there for no reason. All right, got a good set of ingredients there. All right, visibility on this heist is also annoying with dozers because you can. Pretty hard to tell apart the dozer types. Occasionally you have to you have to help the AI out with um doses and such because they they're not really they they just, just kind of like they shoot what's ever closest to them and don't really take into account that like you know doses exist they won't like specifically target them they go for payday three actually that they kind of tweak the AI up so like I'm not asking to be completely gods who will like carry you through every house. I'm just kind of asking them to be a little bit less stupid. 
Like. I'm not wanting them to directly replace human players, so like, so like, yeah, they could be a little bit less stupid, that'd be pretty cool. That was a lucky gate though, very lucky. Alright, what side of the, oh, okay, sniper's on. That's an awkward sniper spawn, because you always have to go to the bottom window to try and, no, it's not bottom window. You're just kind of out of luck trying to mark that one out. It's also a bit hard to get um, ammo drops on this map. Because, uh, well, most of the cops will die outside. So you, can, you know, if you want to pick up something, you got to go outside. Uh, you know. Not too fun. Granted, it's not really fun which way the cops spawn, because, you know, outside, you can't get their pickups. Inside, they'll easily swarm you. Because it's such a small room. That, that dozer up there. I've played so much uh, rats in my time, like trying to you know, in fit in for me grinding. That I kind of just know what he's saying. I don't really have to listen. I just kind of hear how many syllables. Be careful. We have incoming. It's mostly uh, muriatic acid and caustic soda to worry out because they're very similar. I think. I don't know. They sound similar. Nice. And you know, syllables are about sound, so you can see where I'm going with that, right? Yeah, the English language is weird, like, strange. Like, you can say couldn't have. And it, oh. I'm pretty sure there's some words you can have, like, a double, con triple contraction on, even. I feel so bad for people who have to do English as, like, a second language. Okay. I'm not gonna directly rush out just yet, but I am gonna need some muriatic at some point. I love the hitbox on the railings there. Because they don't destroy and they're not fully solid. They're just uh, they're annoying. You can shoot through parts of them. Come on, please. Okay. Alright, I have time. I have time. I'm gonna need another combat in a second. Oh, this one doesn't even have it. Oh, like, no. Oh, no. I've gotta go downstairs for that. Where is that sniper? Oh, there. Okay, I found him. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm a... Uh, I'm in a little bit of a predicament here. How am I going to get myself that? Uh, I need them ingredients. I need the ingredients. Alright. I'm gonna do odd reliable. I forget that dozers um don't get affected by concussions. I don't think that's physically impossible, but like, yeah, you know, it's a video game I guess.
I didn't even intend to shout that guy, but I respect the fact that he did actually surrender. Yeah, I, I mean, I figure it's the issue of how am I going to get back in the house at the moment. I'm, I might just die here, I'll be honest. If I get charged at the wrong time, like a dozer or something. Well, plus side is, at the rate it's going to take me to get out of here, you know, I'll probably get the actual thing cooked by the time for Fade. Amazing! Yeah, I wish I was running something like Kingpin right now. I could just pop Injector. Just run out. That'd be cool. Unless I got hit by a green dozer. There. Okay. Oh god, I clipped on the stairs and I thought I was going to get stuck there for a second. Oh! Hello! I couldn't tell if he was a green dozer, so I just put it down the first aid kit there. Do you know I mean about how, like, I don't like the visibility on this map? I genuinely couldn't tell if that was a, you know, a dozer I was having to, like, you know, I didn't know if I was going to get one-shotted by him or not. Oh no, I need healing. Uh, it's a thin, but I'll use up a first aid kit just to heal. Oh, I hate US Marshals so much. They are such a dumb enemy type. They do nothing. They're not even... They take forever to actually kill, because they have such a low headshot multiplier. Like, they're not even, like, an interesting special unit, either. They lit- they- I'm pretty sure they do less damage than, um... They're just useless. They are- they're like... I can't even make the excuse of, like, them being armor-piercing. Because I'd be, like, a genuine- oh, it wouldn't- It'd be such a big threat towards, um... Anarchist users, if it could uh, penetrate armor, then of course I'd make TSOD even harder. But they just they just made an enemy type without really thinking about it. Like all the enemy types do something except for the U.S. Marshal. They're just glorified people. They're like normal cops, but just with a hat. Oh, and they have no lore. Or, um, they have no lore reason for existing either. It is. I said those are up the stairs. Oh. All right, now time to get into fade. Focus on getting some. Focus on killing things. If that was a heavy unit, I would have been done for. I see a rock and all. No, great skill. No, why did I do that? Why did I rush out with no armor? That's... Yeah. 
If there was like a tier list with my dumbest plays, I would like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if that was on there. Rushed out onto the street on cookoff with no armor. All right, that was risky. That's day one. Day one is kind of boring, but the rest of the day is interesting. So. Right, so for this day, there's a funny thing you can do. You have a, like, a shotgun stealth build. I'm trying to find one. I've got to have um, a suppressed shotgun somewhere. You suppressed? There's got to be one, right? I must have a ju This is it, yeah. That's, that's the only suppressed shotgun I have. Yep, this one's the suppressed one. Okay. So there's a funny thing you can do where you can abuse um, the gangster AI. And just kind of do that. It's meant to happen if you shoot one of them, of course, it'll go loud. But, uh, you know, if it's suppressed and they don't see the dead person, well, did they really die? You know? So, oh yeah, this is my copycat stealth build. It's a new deck that came out. I might do a video on it. I might. Because it's really nice, because you basically walk at the same speed that you crouch at. Hey, man. You can just avoid that guy. He doesn't even do anything. Now, if you try and drill the safe, of course, it'll force itself loud, but... Um... They turn a blind eye to lockpicking. Why? I don't know. But it's a funny thing you can do. Oh well, that isn't, uh, that isn't it, but funny. Ah, it's in the big safe. Alright. And then... What's also interesting is that the bags don't auto secure if you do it in stealth. Yo, you got no here. This is oh, I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't shoot him there. Yeah, if you shoot someone and it goes loud, the bags will auto secure. So, yeah. Yep, that's day. Uh, that's day two. Now, time for day three, which is much more interesting. Right, so for day three, I'm just going to do the easy way, and uh, I'm not going to go for all the bags, because, well, I have enough money. I know I, I think I said that I liked money earlier, but, uh, you know, I already have enough. And it's pretty easy to see this um, one in, like, record time. Yep. Mouth down. The gangsters when they come along the side of the bridge, and then you can do you can just finish the day. So yeah, that's rats. It's mostly just a, it's a very basic heist. Day one's the only really interesting day. Day three can be interesting if you go for all the loot. But uh, yeah, that's that. So once again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Maybe even drop a comment if you feel so inclined to. This has been Cookie Dough, and I'll see you next time. Bye.